worked this one really well, Lasada. She didn't quite force her way through in, in her attempts to do so. She has conceded the free kick. Josie Green just did enough really standing her ground there on the edge of the penalty area. Now here comes Spurs, Neville prodding it forward too far in front of Jessica Naz. The injury issues that I mentioned, including in goal, Karim Benamore Tayyip has started the season as first choice, started every game in every competition so far with Eli Roebuck out injured and Bartley sidelined as well. And that's a painful one for the pair of them. Ashley Neville, who's down. Morgan is the Manchester City player who was involved in the coming together as well. Both suffering significantly from it. opportunity for Morgan in the absence of Lucy Bronze at the start of the season to try and establish herself in this Manchester City side a lifelong supporter of the club but that was particularly painful joined at under 15 level she's in England under 21 international Bronze had knee surgery in the summer is ahead of schedule we hear in terms of her potential return but there's not been a, a date necessarily put on that yet so Morgan stepped into that role in the side, but is she going to be able to continue? Ashley Neville of Spurs is back on her feet. Oh, and a concerned onlooker, but it's her goal that has uh, separated the sides. Just guided across the keeper and in at the far corner. Really clever header. But in front of that Spurs defence, who had plenty of bodies back in the box, but they weren't able to deal with the danger. And Gareth Taylor all smiles at the start. One from the training ground, maybe. Start of his second season in charge of the club. He was uh, only appointed in May of last year. Went on to win the FA Cup, his first trophy. And we'll give full focus, he says, on every competition this season. Desperate for further silverware. That's why it was so tough to take the Champions League exit because it was a competition that they didn't just want to get into the group stages of they genuinely felt that they had a chance of going all the way in it it came very early in their season Real Madrid were making their debut in the competition and rose to the occasion here on Wednesday night but, uh, Manchester City had led by a goal to nil until added time in the first leg which eventually proved costly now there's a caution here as well just to uh, add to the, uh, the agony. Brandished, I think, to uh, the player that is down, Esme Morgan. Oh, Hemp's had plenty to say to the referee as well. And is the stretcher going to be required? Confirmation of the card for Morgan. I was going to say once she gets back to her feet, but still remains in doubt whether that is going to be possible or not. Manchester City were just building up all that momentum after opening the scoring so early. There are some of the uh, injured contingent. Ali Rasso was excellent actually against her former club Everton, debuted against the side that she signed from in the summer last weekend. Just lacking a goal but did come up with an assist and was singled out for praise by Gareth Taylor afterwards. So he'll have been disappointed that she wasn't able to feature today. Shoulder problem which has only really come to light over the course of the last day or so. Had been involved in training prior to that. So is a change going to be required? Jess Park would perhaps be the obvious one. Might mean a, a little bit of a reshuffle though. The 
number 12, we saw Philippa Angledow would be a debut. She's in the squad for the first time, having finally had the paperwork passed to be eligible to play, signed from Harkin in Sweden. Demi Stokes started at left back last week. Very much a regular in the side as well, but beginning this one on the bench. And this is a, a lengthy delay. Real concern for Morgan. And is there going to be a, another significant addition to the injury list? Must wonder what he needs to do to get a bit more luck at the moment, Gareth Taylor. really all key players that are currently sidelined and in the case of Chloe Kelly will be until the new year with a cruciate ligament injury it appears that Angledown is going to be the one called for so this would be a much earlier than anticipated debut for the Swedish international it was part of their side that lost to Canada in the final of the Olympic Games she made six appearances at the games in Tokyo and arrived at Manchester City only on that deadline day as their final signing of the summer. Probably actually a, a move that only got done because of the injuries. Gareth Taylor felt he needed an extra body in the squad. So he made a sixth signing of the summer when Angledahl arrived. She wasn't eligible anyway in the Champions League, having played for and scored twice for Harkin earlier in the competition this season. But this is a sad sight. Esme Morgan helped away on the stretcher after a lengthy period of treatment to sympathetic applause from the stands. Thoughts are with her. As the substitution is made, Angledal is on.